Last week, I spoke about the difference between animals and human beings. I'd like to stay on that subject for one more week. Shalom, my friends. Yes, last week I talked about two different definitions of a human being. To a biologist, a human being is a mammal, part of the animal kingdom. But religiously speaking, we are not animals. And I mentioned in that video that we are created in the image of God. We'll talk about that today. If you didn't see last week's video, don't worry. At the end of this video, there will be a link so that you can watch last week's if you are interested. I'm talking today about a verse in Genesis that I would translate as follows. Let us make humanity in our image after our likeness. And of course, the question is, why is it in the plural? Who is God talking to? Different religions have different answers to that question, and that's fine. If you've watched any of my videos at all, you know it is not my agenda to force my understanding of something onto my audience. You may find it interesting intellectually. You may find it interesting spiritually. I'm just going to articulate at least one, and there may be there are more than one, Jewish understandings of this particular verse of what it means to be created in God's image. But first, what it doesn't mean for us as Jewish people is that God has a physical body like ours. We do not believe that. Judaism teaches that God has no physical body. So being created in God's image for us cannot mean we have a body like the one God has. It has to mean something else. And that's when the difference between animals and human beings comes in. You see, my favorite interpretation of the let us make humanity in our image after our likeness verse is that God is talking to the animal kingdom, the only living creatures he's created up to that point in Genesis. And God says to them, let us, which I take as metaphor, make humanity in our image, which I take literally, after our likeness, which I take literally. God is going to create a creature that is both godlike and animal-like and that is human beings. We are animal-like in that the biologist is right. We're mammals. We have all the same drives and instincts that every other mammal has, but we have something animals do not. We have a moral conscience. We have a moral compass. We can make decisions about things based solely on whether they are immoral or moral. Animals cannot do that. So one of the ways that we are created in the image of God is by being given the ability to make moral distinctions. There's another piece to that. Because we can make moral distinctions, we are the only creatures God made who is supposed to control our instincts, control our urges and desires, not be ruled by them as animals are. Another distinction between the human being and the animal kingdom from a religious perspective. So there's quite a lot here. I find it fascinating. I hope that you find it interesting as well. And that's where I'll leave it for this week. 
Now, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, and I would love to have you as a subscriber, just click on my face right over there. And as promised, if you want to see last week's video, click on its icon right over there. As ever, until next time, Shabbat Shalom.